So I wanted to do just one more video on how to gray out or age hair and I wanted to show you a little bit of what it would look like if you color corrected your hair. Um, so this is a mustache that is black that I'm going to show you um, just how you can kind of change the way um, your hair white would look if you did color correct it. So depending on exactly like how pure white you need something to be, you may not have to color correct it. Um, but I work a job every year where the person um, needs to have a pure white beard and pure white facial hair and it needs to photograph pure white. Um, and we were having a really hard time using, you know, like the liquid hair white, hair color sprays. We were using just the white aqua color. Everything was kind of giving off kind of a like blue white kind of a look and we really needed it to be pure white. So I found um, that by layering three different colors and then also a hair color spray, I was able to get it to be a pure white when it was photographed and in person as well. Um, and then another reason or another way that you could do it if you don't want to um, layer the colors, you can mix up the colors. So I do have them to mix up and then um, they do also make like tinted hair whites. Skin Illustrator makes alcohol activated paints for the hair that are in different shades. Um, Ben Nye makes a hair white that's an ivory that works great for darker hair, so you just kind of have to think about it the same way that you would if you were color correcting a tattoo. If I just put the skin tone over it, sometimes you can still see that tattoo through it. So if I just put white over this, sometimes I can still see the darkness of that color come right through. So the first thing that you want to do um, would be to add your color corrector. So the color corrector that I like to use um, and what I'm going to work with today um, is Krylon's Aqua Color. So I really like to use this kind of like golden color first. It's called 303. And so this is a face and body paint that you can also use in hair. So I'll usually take a little bit of this. Um, if you are using it exclusively on someone's hair, I prefer to get them their own and not have something out of my kit. This is really only getting used on me and on fake hair like this. So it's not the end of the world, but otherwise you would want to like scrape it out. Like I do have some of the colors scraped out on this palette or Whoever this is should have their own um, size of this paint. So I'm going to take my color corrector and I'm going to paint that on. So you can either use, depending on how large of an area, will kind of dictate how large of a brush you want to use. So I'm using just like a small synthetic, small-ish synthetic brush. But when I have the person who has to work on their beard or a lot of hair, I actually use hair dye brushes. So these are really great um, to use with any kind of hair white, whether or not it's the body paints or you're using um, like the Ben Nye liquid hair white or whatever it is. I have found that that is so much faster um, to do something like that instead of sitting there with like a tiny toothbrush or a tiny like, um, like there's that great little comb that comes in the Ben Nye kits. That one is great, but if you have to cover a whole beard or a whole head really quickly, the hair dye brushes have really become my best friend for that. Um, so what I do is I really make sure, and one thing that's important um, with facial hair is you want to make sure that you get into um, all of the little kind of like crevices and like nooks and crannies because it's these parts that are really going to show when you start to layer all the color. So I know that my actor who does this always works really hard to make sure that he really gets into all those little spots to really cover it um, as much as he can when he's doing this. And so these are just water activated paints. The less water you use, the more opaque the color is gonna be. So I really like to mix it up first and then I apply it. And this might seem a little weird because it's pretty golden, um, but a nice layer of this is really gonna help to kind of color correct. Now you could mix it if you wanted to, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but for me, this is the way that I have found and that I like to use when I am really trying to get something to be a pure white. And then if you want to go back, you can take like a toothbrush and if you want to just kind of comb through. Um, the aqua color doesn't tend to get like as chunky as sometimes like the liquid hair whites do, but whenever I'm doing any kind of like hair whitening or a temporary hair color, I always like to comb back through it. So whether that's with an actual comb or like a boar bristle comb or a toothbrush, whatever it is. Um, these are great to have in your kit. I always have the really cheap ones. That really helps. Um, the next color I like to put on is a like eggshell color. And so this is 00 in aqua color. Um, I probably could mix this with the 303 um, instead of layering a ton of it. But again, I'm just kind of stuck in like, this is how we've been doing it. So I'm very, very used to that. Um, now this one, since this is like a larger one that I do use for other things, I scooped some out onto a palette and I'm gonna apply it from here. And then I just kind of take this right over it. So they do kind of mix anyway. Um, so really, I think either way you do it, you're going to get to the same place eventually. Um, this is just how I have 
found and how we discovered. Um, I mean, and we tested tons and tons of hair colors, uh, and this was the only thing we could really get that would make everybody happy. Um, whether this person's being photographed or they're on TV, um, this seemed to work the best. And really what's kind of happening, and I'll try to hold it up without spilling everything, as you can kind of see, um, the color that I'm making is sort of like the ivory hair white color. So mixing 303 and 00 in the aqua color kind of gives you that, um, that same color as the Ben Nye hair white in ivory. Um, and you can see it's getting a little bit closer to being white, um, but it's still a little bit yellowy. But um, again, it's a long process, um, but it does work great. It photographs great. Sometimes I feel like in person it can look slightly yellowy, but once it photographs, it really does photograph um, really nice pure white. Um, and for the particular thing that we're working on, that is the most important thing, is that it photographs really, really well. And I can kind of cut through and comb this. And then basically just keep layering and layering and layering. And I will say the aqua color does transfer just a little bit. Um, but I do think that any kind of temporary hair color is most likely going to transfer. Um, just because it's not a permanent dye, it's not really soaking into your hair, so there's always gonna be that chance um, that it might transfer. And then the last color that I like to take over it um, is the pure white. And so kind of letting it dry in between um, will also help because you can only saturate it so much. And you also have to think this is not the same as the hair growing out of somebody's head. Um, so the hair growing out of somebody's head can usually take a little bit more intense color um, than what um, a poor little mustache like this can handle. But since I don't have access to someone's head uh, that has black hair, this is the closest kind of example that I have to show. Um, it's also helpful if you're not doing this upside down. Um, but you can start to see it's getting to a more kind of like more of like a natural sort of white and I think that's what's tricky um, is a lot of people when their hair does go white it, a lot of times you do have that sort of like yellowish tinge to it um, just from like the way our water often is um, and so this can kind of help it get more into that world it's just sometimes not really really like blue white um, it can photograph really, really gray. So maybe in person it seems really like normal and natural, but generally uh, once it's photographed is when you do start to see a bit of an issue. Um, I know you're not super close, so you can't see it that well. Um, and again, really getting in there into all these layers. It's really, really important. And then kind of like the final layer that I do on this um, is to do a little bit of um, the hair color spray. So I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I want to do this today uh, just because we're inside in a very enclosed space. So I don't think um, that's really my best option right now. Um, but just to show you, so if we did just the white on the other side, we can kind of compare the way the colors look. and you kind of be able to see the difference. Um, and two especially, it's really when like the flash hits it that um, you can really see the difference. And that's one thing, it's like we would um, white out his facial hair and it would look like normal, you know, and it would like look white and then you would put it under a really, really bright light um, and it would go super blue-gray and it would go really gray and they were not happy about that. Um, so though for like stage something like this, um, might read and be totally fine. Um, if you don't like it to have that blue color, I really recommend um, that you go through and you do take the time um, to color correct it. So it can take some time um, because there's a lot of layers and I do really think like that last layer of um, the white hairspray really really helps kind of like seal it in and I also think that kind of helps to dry it down a little bit. But um, I know it may not seem like there's that huge of a difference and this may seem like it has sort of a yellowy look to it, but um, I promise that when something like this 
um, gets photographed, having that color correcting in it really, really makes a big difference as opposed to just one that just sort of has that like blue gray. This is going to get you much closer to a pure white um, once you are at that point and you are ready um, for it to be seen. So you can see, let's see, you get a little bit closer. It has that sort of like yellowish tinge around the edge because it's stuck on the. Um, the styrofoam. Uh, if you're going to do this on a wig block, make sure it's one that's covered. I don't have any of mine covered in plastic currently, so that's why I put it on a styrofoam head. Um, so you can see that's really like grayish white, which is fine. But over here, um, if we didn't have all this kind of like yellow around it, that's going to get a lot closer to what a pure white would look like. And again, um, this last step would be to just hit it with um, the hairspray, which maybe if I can open it, we will do. Um, so this stuff really will um, get everywhere and you have to make sure that you're really, really careful with it. Um, and then sometimes the top falls off of it too. But with this, I like to spray it onto a brush um, and then I will apply it to the hair just so that way it doesn't kind of get everywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure my actor just sprays it directly on his hair. Um, but you'll see when I do that, it kind of shoots back everywhere. So you have to be really, really careful. Um, but you can see, I think, especially now that we did like that last touch, that really does get it to that pure, pure white. Whereas if we do it over here, um, they're still now starting to get super, super white. Um, there's still a little bit of that gray showing. Um, whereas if we get really, really close over here, some of the places that we had it really color corrected, like right in here, it's got that really, really nice um, kind of pure white color to it. So I really think um, this hair color spray really does make a huge difference. I love it. And I think you can even say, see the way this white is reflecting against the white of this. That's going super bright pure white, whereas this, we still kind of got that blue underneath it. Um, but I will say the hair white gets everywhere. Um, so be really mindful of that and make sure you have things covered. But um, it's a great final layer. This definitely needs some time. Um, to set, but really um, Krylon's hair color sprays, they make them in white, gray, gold, silver, glitter, all the colors of the rainbow, UV colors. It's really some of the best hair color spray I've ever used. Um, and really when you brush it through, it looks very natural, I feel like, and I don't think that um, it gets quite as like crusty and cakey as a lot of the other brands that I've used have gotten. So hopefully um, this adds a little bit more clarity to why you might have to color correct hair sometimes. And Hopefully this will help you if you are ever in a situation where you need somebody's hair to be a pure bright white.